Hey guys, it's your girl Yazzie. It's been a while. So I woke up this morning and I got a bunch of inbox messages saying, you know, check this out, read this, check this out. So one is the new Cheerios commercial that was released and it was causing a lot of controversy, a lot of um, negative, ugly messages. I'll explain that in a minute. And second is Kanye West's new album that is due to re due to be released soon, or uh, will be released soon, called Yeezus. And we'll talk about that. So, this Cheerios commercial, you know Cheerios. They always drop those cute little commercials. The The new commercial, it's a 31 second commercial. But it's it features a biracial couple. And for those of you who have seen a lot of the Cheerios commercials, usually the people on the commercial are usually of the same race. So, you know, if you have a black dad, you have a black kid. If you have a, you know, white mom and dad, you have a white kid. But this one has a biracial couple, um, a white female and a black male. Um, and so, you know, surprisingly, but not so surprisingly, a lot of people had some negative comments on the video and as a Friday, today is Sunday. And YouTube, it, the, the, the content, people's comments were so bad they had to um, disband, you know, the, the comment section. So here are just a couple of the comments. Um, they took them down, but I got them from another site. One of them was, Shoving multiculturalism down our throats when we know it fails. Awesome. And someone else said, beautiful commercial. Sad for the haters and racists. Another comment said, just had the pleasure of enjoying a Cheerios commercial that featured a biracial family. Talk about good for your heart. So, you know, of course you're always going to have your haters and you have, you know, people being so sarcastic. I must say, get over yourself. Get over yourself. I mean, I, that is a very common, um, what's the word? I don't want to say grouping. I can't find the word, but a, a, a white female and a black male, that's actually very common in the U S or it's becoming more common. And there are a lot of mulatto or biracial, black, white, whatever you want to call it. There are a lot of those kids and they're beautiful. Um, so, you know, get over yourself, people. And, um, you know, I'm working on a personal project about, about race and things like that. And, um, what I've found so far is that really race for our generation, my generation and younger, it's not really that much of an issue. Um, there's been, there's been a lot of, um, migration to the U.S., particularly Hispanics and Asians. And uh, in 2012, the New York Daily News released a, an article that said interracial, its, it's tagline or its you know, headline was Inter interracial marriages in the U.S. hit an all-time high of 4.8 million. One in 12, here's a subtitle, one in 12 involved in interracial union rise pegged to steady flow of Asian and Hispanic immigrants. And that was, okay, the Associated Press, Thursday, February 16, 2012. Now that was 2012. That was February 2012. This is June 2013. So yep, just imagine those numbers are going to keep getting higher and higher and higher and higher. And I think it is awesome because for all whoever was the genius, you all know, I'm always talking about race, but let me get this straight. Society keeps making it an issue when it's really not, it does not have to be an issue at all. Race is a social construct. I am only black because we were given that title. You know, not, not that, that, like, what does that mean? I personally g going, um, having human services classes and things like that. I've had a lot of white people get upset. They were like, yeah, you call me white, but I'm actually German, Italian, and this, this, that, and the other. So like, it, 
color and race, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. I think it's beautiful. The commercial was cute. It was just like any other Cheerios commercial. There's always a little kid there who's always asking about why Cheerios is good for your heart. And the parents, you know, always, it's always something with some Cheerios. And I think it's so cute. So for all of you people, all of you haters and mad people and all this, this, that, and the other. And um, if you don't know, I did a video about that song by Brad Paisley called Accidental Racist. I like the song. I honestly like the song. I just don't think that that was the right title because I felt like that's the title he gave it was kind of working against his lyrics because he's just, he's really saying, don't judge me for wearing a red flag. But then he's saying accidental racist. Like if you're not and you wear the flag, like it was just weird. Okay. Kanye West. I'm sick and tired of talking about this dude. Like, you know, first is him and Kim Kardashian. And they were saying, I don't know, Esquire, you know, those magazines when you go in the store and you see all the magazines, um, <clears throat> they were saying that he hadn't even seen her like 28 days. I sent her whole, through her whole entire pregnancy and, and they're not getting married and this, this, that, and the other and all this old stuff. So anyway, um, <clears throat> this isn't new. I'm sure you've, you know this. So his new, the title, I think the title of his new CD is going to be called Yeezus. Like, you know, they call him Yeezy, I think. I don't know. Y-E-S-U-S. And uh, Kurt Franklin had an interview with like a big radio show. Let me see. It was on, well, it was with Real Sway. Uh, Sway in the Morning. He was on Sway in the Morning. And they asked him, you know, Kurt Franklin is a really big, probably one of the biggest go well-known gospel artists. He's been in the game for a long time. And they asked him, so what do you think about this? I'm disappointed. I really am. I really am. Kurt Franklin did not even answer the question directly. He answered it indirectly like, I don't know what. He was like, oh, well, you know, <clears throat> the mic is a powerful thing and da-da-da-da. That was not the question. We know the mic is a powerful tool. We know that. The question was, you know, what do you think about him calling his, type, his thing Ye Jesus? Because that's sort of... You know, I'm not going to say sort of. I'm going to say what it is. Jesus, really? Jesus, come on. Like, I personally, I, I, I'm not afraid to say what I have to say. I mean, I guess it's because I'm not famous and I'm not, I'm not trying to be politically correct. Politically correct. Um, But that's a bunch of stuff. Like, we know Jesus, he's making an analogy like Jesus. And actually, there was a photo I, I saw, I don't know what his cover is going to look like, but I saw like the cover I think is going to be, it looks like a, a burnt disc, like a blank disc, CD disc, and has like a red tape on it. Sort of like a cheap, his cover is supposed to look like a cheap demo record or something like that. But originally there was a photo and I don't know if you've seen it, but you should look at it. You should Google it. There was a picture of Kanye West with um a, a crown of thorns around his head and his head was bleeding that right there i truly believe it is blasphemous it really is it's sacrilegious it is it is extreme you know no one else whether you believe in jesus or not no one else died for an entire higher for the entire universe for the all of the people of the world no one else whether they claim to or not no one else died and was was crucified with a thorn of a crown of thorns pressed upon his head bleeding for us as people and for one little just because he's so popular one little uh rap artist just because he has good lyrics and you know he's really popular and he and he makes that that's I think that's very dangerous and he's walking on he's walking on broken glass like the song or I mean that's just it's wrong and personally I believe that it has to do with the whole Illuminati thing <laughs>
exist or not. But the kinds of things that these celebrities do, the kind of like this whole stuff, the kind of things that they say, and if you do your research, if you watch the videos on YouTube and and if you read up on it, you know, it's 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 discuss it's open. It's it's open now. We know that an Illuminati exists. Or if not, we know that there's some kind of <clears throat> uh what's the word? Like secret organization or something that is put in place where famous people or people who believe that they're above or they want to amass a lot of money and they want to amass a lot of fans and these types of things they give their they either you know they sell their souls to the devil or they give themselves away or they sacrifice something and then they send a bunch of subliminal messages for someone to put a thorn like to to do that that is a subliminal message if you're not offended by that I don't care what you believe if you're not offended by that then I mean you know it's it's crazy so um Kanye you can go on a slippery slope to hell all you want to I'm not gonna follow you there <laughs> that is all I'm gonna say about that and Cheerios are good for your heart <laughs> But anyway, oh my gosh, people are so crazy and so dumb. I'm, I'm just, I am done, okay? I am, I'm done. <laughs> Money. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because it's just so ridiculous. It's just so ridiculous. And these celebrities, you know, I, the money must be as good while you have it. So maybe when you die, you can take none of it with you. Don't even want to think about where you're gonna be and when you die <laughs> so enjoy your fame enjoy your beauty enjoy your tight you know see-through suits enjoy being on all of these shows you know and and um i mean just just i will say to you you enjoy it while you're here while you're alive because you can't take it with you when you die and just because you have it doesn't mean it will, won't be take it can't it can't go away from you in a split second all these people going to prison because they have taxes due and all this this that and the other and Kanye I mean what's his name Little Wayne was in the hospital and they were talking about he almost was near death the boy looked like he needed to eat something he's so skinny and he probably just smoking up everything and shooting up meth and, I mean I don't know what he's doing he's so skinny you know, he almost died. So I don't care how much millions and millions of dollars you have. A lot of those people might not even be happy. So I don't know about Jesus, but I believe in Jesus. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Holla one time if you hear me. Peace. What carriage? If it's taking a chance, then you will carry.